Strength enough to choose wisely. So the word of God tells us, Jesus has been to the graves. He's come out of the grave and he's told us what lies beyond the graves. He said, don't go there. If I'm not your Lord and personal savior, don't go. Because there will be nobody to bring you back. Where? Lazarus was privileged. He was privileged. He died during the time of Jesus. Jesus brought him back, but he died again. But you now, if you die without Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, you are gone. You are doomed. Don't be stubborn. Don't be ignorant. Be wise. Make provision before it's too late. All you need is Jesus in your life as your Lord and personal Savior. That's all you need. And you will not be afraid of death or the grave. You will not worry what happens when you die because the word of God, Jesus has already told us. He said, a day is coming and all who are in the graves will hear my voice and come alive. All those who have died. It doesn't matter how many years. And he's a living proof. He himself went to the grave. And came back and conquered the grave. So. If there is somebody we have to listen to. When it comes to the destiny of the dead. We have to listen to Jesus. We are all waiting to die. Whether you realize or not. We are waiting to die. But are you prepared for that day? You can know where you are going when you walk out of your body before that day comes. If you live in this life ignorantly, you live in this life ignorantly and go about and that day come, you will say, why didn't I listen to that preacher at Barking? The devil is making you think you are okay. The devil said, don't listen to him. He's just telling story. I'm not just telling story. Marvel not at this. For the hour cometh in which all that are in the grave, all that have died, and those who are alive will hear the voice of Jesus. And those who have died first will be resurrected. Everybody will be resurrected. Everybody. Your ancestors, you didn't know who have died. If they have died without Jesus, they are suffering already. They are already suffering in the grave. If someone tells you that when you die, you are resting in peace, whoever coined that word has deceived you. It's only people who have Jesus in their life who rests in peace in the grave. You don't rest in no peace if you die without Jesus. Jesus said in the grave, there is punishment, level of punishment, depending upon how you live in this life before you die. So Jesus said, everybody will be resurrected, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting judgment, condemnation. So the day Jesus resurrected, all the people, righteous people who have died before him, including the thief on the cross who asked him to have mercy on him and he said, you'll be with me today. They all came out with Jesus and the word of God said, they coming forth out of the tomb after his resurrection, they entered into the holy city and appeared to many. Those who have died in the Lord, when Jesus resurrected, he resurrected with them and they went to their family homes and they said, hi, I'm here. And they went with Jesus. Now, Jesus will never go into the graves again. Jesus will never go into the tomb again. He has been there once. He will not go there again. So today, if you are hearing our voice, make hay while the sun shines. A time is coming. Jesus will shout from the heavens above us. 
the scar above us will rip open. Everybody that have died after Jesus died and their righteous people will come alive again just as when he resurrected on the third day and the people resurrected. Everybody who is a child of God, the fact that you were baptized when you were a baby doesn't mean you were a child of God. You are only a child of God if you have received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Whether the Catholic Church watered your head when you were a baby, or Church of England watered your head, wet your head when you were a baby and they call it baptism, that is not baptism. That doesn't make you a Christian. It doesn't make you a child of God. You only become a child of God if you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. At that moment, you become a child of God. And that is when God gives you eternal life. Everybody will live forever. I keep on warning you. Everybody will live forever. But where? Where are you going from here? So there will be series of resurrection. The first resurrection has happened already. We are waiting for the second one. Jesus was the first person to resurrect from the grave. He conquered the grave. Not only the grave. There is a part of hell which Jesus has emptied. He took the righteous people out of there. He will not go there again. Today, if you are alive, let me tell you, the word of God says, let all men be liars and God alone be true. The same word of God that told us that in the last days, there will be rumors of war. Today we are seeing war in Ukraine. It's not a good thing. But if that doesn't happen, the word of God is false. If the word of God doesn't happen, then God is a false God. God said there will be rumors of wars. There will be pestilence. There will be earthquakes. There will be diseases, anger, all kinds of things. We have witnessed all this in our days. We have witnessed it and we are witnessing it. So you cannot run away from the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God will never pass away. Amen? The word of God, which is written in the Bible, will never pass away. Every one of them will happen. Jesus said, not a single word that I've said will fall to the ground. Everything will happen. So if you see the war in Ukraine, it's because God said it. And when God says something, it will happen. Jesus said, I will lay down my life. I will lay my, down my life and on the third day, I will come back again. And the religious people said, we will stop you from coming. They sent soldiers to go and guard the tomb. They sealed the tomb first. They sent soldiers to stop a dead body from resurrecting because he said, on the third day, those same soldiers ran to the religious people who hired them. They said, we saw him, he's risen. And then the religious people said, take this money, don't tell anybody. When they asked you, tell them that disciples came to steal the body. Can you imagine? They are trying to cover their lies. Where well, Jesus resurrected, he lived on the earth 40 more days before he left to heaven finally. And he told us that, I'm coming back again. Now, Jesus went to heaven. Those of you who said Jesus didn't die, a whole religion has been deceiving their own people that Jesus didn't die. That's why Jesus went to heaven with the nail pierced hands and his side pierced and his foot pierced. When he came, 